Oh, hi. I'll be, no, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, today I will be installing Windows 95 on a zip disk. Now you're probably like, why a zip disk? Well, it's because I like obsolete media and I just felt like it. I want to be able to use Windows 95 wherever I go. As weird as that sounds, I love Windows 95. Um, so yeah, I want to be able to use Windows 95 wherever I go. And so I got a zip disk. Now, just to make this a little easier, I've screen shared um, this Mac, or this Mac. I have screen shared my MacBook to the Mac Mini so that you can see what's going on a little better. Um, I kind of feel that's kind of a good way to do things, <laughs> especially because your Saudi is not the most powerful for doing these kind of tasks. Or I guess a 2007 Mac Mini isn't very, or isn't that powerful either. <laughs> but uh, where did the zip disk go? Oh, <laughs> I'm silly. It's right here, and it's off the screen. So I'm just going to pop the zip disk in. Now you can see I have some images here of um, of Windows 95. I do need to actually figure out how to do this though. So let me see. So I don't know if I could be easily heard. So I'm just gonna go behind. So I'm gonna be. Can I mount? Is that seen? Yeah, my cursor is moving. Cool. So I'm going to be trying to install Windows 95 on the zip disk. I have the zip disk plugged in currently, although it doesn't really look like. Yeah, you can even see some of my. Uh, what was I gonna say? You can even see some of my stuff here. I've been, I'm just gonna quit some things. And you can see, even see, there's a video uh, in the making down there. So, yeah, so let's get this thing up and running. I'm gonna start or create a new virtual machine. Let me see, install, yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. Um, install, oh, wait, wait, yeah, here it is. This one, no, nope. uh, I'm smart. Windows 95, there it is. So, choose a virtual disk, uh, create a new one. No, actually, I don't even want to use one. Oh, I forgot to actually, whoops. Yeah, connect the zip drive. Uh, start computer with C ROM support. It just ejected, what? It's connect, okay, it's connected. Start computer with C ROM. Start computer without CD ROM and view the help file. Um, let's do with CD-ROM support. Drivers provided by Oak Technology, PC bus scan complete. Whoa, okay, the disk drive might need to be partitioned. What is C? Uh, oops. Although I don't have a C drive on here, that's a little weird. Let me see. Extract F disk. No. Oh. Let's find the Windows 98 disk. Eh, that's an no, upgrade disk. There it is. I actually, I have two of them. <laughs> don't know how I got two. Apparently. I have two. <laughs> Get out of there. There it is. I do prefer Windows 98 over 95. I just feel it's easier to use. Oh, can't eject the drive when there's when there's no power to the PC. The PC is literally off. Up, hurry up. Okay, there we go. Just so then I know it sees it. So the disk is in. Now let's plug in the zip drive. I don't know if Windows can detect a USB device. I think the PC will try to emulate it as just an just an external drive. So. Oh, great, my BIOS setup just froze. Um, that's nice. Oh, never goes. Let's have it be removable. First, let's do CD-ROM. Second, oops, sorry, you can't see any of that. Uh, removable. This one can be hard disk. It shouldn't boot at all from the zip disk now. It's set not to. Save and exit. I'm curious if it'll even boot at all. If it doesn't, I got another plan. Get involved with this compact down here. I think a little bit more light would help you guys out. I'm just gonna plug my clock. It's working. Let's see what happens. Probably just gonna say incompatible. 
Start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. Start computer with CD-ROM support. Start computer without CD-ROM support. Let's do setup. Windows 98 setup files were not found. No valid CD-ROM device driver selected. Hmm. Let me find this out. <laughs> Half disk. Uh oh. Okay, this scares me. This is actually gonna mess something up, so I'm just gonna abort mission. So the reason why I like just using my own phone is because I don't, I don't take the hard drive out, so there's no risk of the data that's on that drive. So I'll be doing that after I run the garbage out. Uh, gotta listen to my parents. <laughs> there. So let's see if this will boot. Exit. Uh, saving. Wait. No, not yet. Oh, that's my only option. Yep. I left the date as year 2000 because it might make Windows 98 behave better. T. Man, I can't spell. Ugh. Oh, great. Um, no fixed disks. That's perfect. Um, apparently none of my mistakes were recording, which is, I guess, kind of a good thing. Um, it wouldn't see it on here anyways, or either. So what I'm planning on doing is actually putting a DOS, um, making this drive, the zip drive, bootable by DOS. So, let me try this. So I'm in now into Windows, nice. Nice. So, oh, the video's actually going. So I'm just gonna follow this video and it'll be back. The zip just, just showed up. Like, what? Uh, who knew? Now I can just pause this. Well, all the good it did um, for this to work here, because it didn't matter, because I have to connect it to Windows anyways. Connect to the zip drive. Oh, or, didn't run that as admin. Well, well I missed. <laughs> So zip drive open. I should probably format this now. I think about uh, fat work start. Yes. Cool. Sure. I am like a zip cool file system volume label. Create a DOS startup disk. Warning: all data will be lost. Yes. <laughs> Let me see. If I just format it. <laughs> There's a, wait, uh-oh, are we having the problem now that this drive's been having? I didn't think it would happen with this disk. It just doesn't work, wait. I think that Windows is just confused. Let's try connecting to Mac first. Hmm. The disk you insert is not readable by this computer. I am a zip erase. What can I erase this as? Fat. Okay, well, it's just fat, so. When it, oh, well, now it won't even format. That's perfect. I like Mac, it actually succeeded, so I'm just gonna hit done and mount this in Windows. What was I gonna do again? Uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, over here, connect. I Omega zip drive. Okay. I don't know what to do. I keep getting this stupid write protection error that I don't really know what to do with, so I'm just gonna see. I think it was the Mac that kind of screwed this up, so what I'm gonna do is delete. I got an unformatted zip disk, or about, come on, load. There it is, 239, unallocated. Next. All the way up, next. Sign G, no. Sure, next. Uh, do not format, format with the following settings. Let's do fat, fat's fine. Um, zip, let me do zip. 215. Next, yeah, finish. Let me check, because I should not be able to create anything if this drive was actually right protected, so. There it is, cool. Um, fat32, this should, well that's not right, oh wait a minute, that one. Create a DOS startup disk, start, yes, it keeps doing that. Grr. 
try to boot into this again. Loading boot menu, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's try this again. Okay, so I think I can assume that this is not going to work. The drive is not spinning up at all, so I don't know what's going on. So it is just hanging this every time I try to boot that. So it does not seem like it's going to work. Um, that's great. Um, and now the actual writer that I used, where the heck did it go? Here it is. It doesn't seem like that is going to work because my, I have bad luck with technology, so. Try this. Now my question is, did it actually format it as uh, fat? Was it able to format it? Hopefully, oh, it did format it though. So we got it, I just don't know whoop, why it's saying the drive is write protected. See like there's all these files here, but it just won't work, so. Eh. So if I disconnect this from Windows and I have it connect to Mac, disconnect. I'll have it show up in here. So here it is again. Yeah. Zip 250. So if I do erase, okay, that's not an option anymore. MS dust fat. Actually, I should probably do this. Erase. Master boot record. Let's try that. It says Mac OS extended. I'm going to change that in just a sec. MS DOS fat. There. Erase. So that's fun. Just watching it actually do its thing. That's why I like these transparent drives. So it is now mounting. Erase process is complete. Cool. Um, I'm curious if it's because of that GUID partition map. That is a Mac thing. And Windows can't easily see Mac things that would stop ejecting. Oh, well, didn't want to hit no. There. That zip 250. Da da da. Yes. Failed to format. Okay, that's different than what we had before. Failed to format. I can't. Why? Different utility called Rufus. I've heard this one's really good. And it's asking for an IMG file. I don't. Actually, I do have an IMG file, DOS. I'll be back. Got the key drive here. And it's, it, man, this, this has what I need. There, plug in the key drive. USB mass storage, uh, connect to Windows. USB drive, floppy images. I can put Windows 3 on here, now that I think about it. Do have an image of that? Plus 4.10, 401. And 622. Let's do 622. Cool. Let's do this. Warning will be destroyed. Okay. So it formatted it for whatever reason. It's 1.5 megabytes. Not too worried, which is good because Windows could still see it as a 250 meg disk. Get my hands in the way of the camera. Get up. Thank you. Be down. Good boy. So we're actually getting somewhere. Um, it says non-system disk or disk error. Replace or press any key when ready. Holy crap, I did the free DOS option and it actually boots. Oh my gosh, this is actually very like uh <laughs> um so now that it actually sees it as a drive, I might be able to install Windows on this. I'm not 100% sure, but crossing my fingers. So it is the next day and I need to figure out how to get this DOS um, thing to recognize the CD or CD, DVD drive down there, which it can. I just need to figure out how to make it do it. Uh, so I just installed the DVD driver, so I just unplugged the hard drive so it won't mess with it. And you can see now it says, I'll press enter here. Uh, to quit setup, press enter. To continue, press escape, I'll continue. It thinks that the disc is compressed or whatever, so I just, um, I just skip that. So there's no copying files needed. There it goes. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, mouse works though. Continue. Wow, I did not think this was gonna work. I'll be back when it's done with this.
it. So it now gonna check and see if it has enough disk space. If it doesn't, I'll just do Windows 95. Um, it'll just be easier. Oh my gosh, this actually worked. So you can see here, it is now. No, uh, I think what's missing here, details. Let's see. Okay, nothing there. What about accessories? Games, might as well. Mouse pointers. Right now, space. <laughs> Briefcase, sure. That didn't even. Might as well. And next. Oh dear. Oh dear, no. It's head banging. Oh dear, no. Dang, now it's stupid zip drive. I have to reboot the computer now. As ugly as it is, this is actually working. Now I record this a little bit more. Or I record this in a little bit more because I just want to, I kind of forgot, but it is 50% and still going, so I think this might actually work. Just hope it does. Along with it, this is actually Windows 98 that I'm actually putting on here because I honestly love Windows 98 better than 95. Um, I do not think that it's going to change the user experience much as I'm going to still only have 16 colors anyways uh, because I don't... <laughs> have drivers, so it won't really change much anyways, so, yeah. Now, what's going on with this now is it's actually telling me, um, I have an insufficient amount of RAM to run Windows 98, and I figured that this would happen. Um, if you have more than one gig of RAM in there, it actually will fail to boot. So, I will actually be, um, taking out three of the sticks, and I'll see what happens. Okay, just took out three RAM sticks, see what happens. Obviously, I'm not going to leave it like this, but... So, I need to to the boot menu. Hey, there it is. Enter. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got the one logo. I'm going to turn my flash off. Failed to boot, so I'll just hit normal. Uh, it's confused. Normal. Oh, it's because it's loading up the... Whoops. It's loading up the DVD drive. I'm smart. Um, just need to wait a little bit. There we are. If this fails, I think there might actually be half a gig on the motherboard itself. I haven't really seen that happen before. But, yeah. I'll be back when this is done. Coolio. After taking out the RAM, it works. So, I'll just put in my name. Kind of takes forever, though. I accept the agreement. Oh, okay. I found a Windows 98 product key on the back of one of my older, or on the bottom of one of my older computers, so that worked. Cool. We are now at the drum roll part. It's the last section. This took long enough. It kept blue screening on me, so let's hope this works. We just finished. So let's see if it actually boots. Let's really hope it does. I've never done this before. So it is now telling me to type a name to identify yourself to Windows. Enter a password if you want to. If you don't enter a password, you won't get that. Okay. Now I want a password on this. New hardware found. Probably not good that it found that because I want this to be able to work on many devices. have made it oh my gosh finally